Bravery isn't an absence of fear, but rather the ability to conquer in the face of Hurricane Ian. One man did just that. He conquered his fear and sailed into its very heart. Yeah, we are talking about Kevin Ott. You may remember him. Kevin Ott and his kids went on a mission to rescue the kid's grandma during Hurricane Ian. And along the way, they rescued strangers, strangers that became family. And one year ago, I shared their story. And today, we are here to introduce you back to Kevin and see what they're up to today. It's been a year, but for Kevin Knott, time stands still. It could have been a lot different <laughs> for everybody. Hurricane Ian is seared in his memory forever. The powerful storm tested him like nothing ever did before. You know, it, it got scary. I'm like, wait a second. With winds whipping and floodwaters rising, Kevin steered a pontoon boat through Island Park Road in South Fort Myers with his kids on board. Our main mission was just to go ahead, save Grandma. Grandma is Marianne Deneen. She was trapped inside her home with her daughter, daughter's boyfriend, and their pets. I've been through every major hurricane from Charlie, Wilma, etc. And we never had an inch of water in our house until Ian. And then I had eight feet. First responders couldn't get there. That left Kevin to come to the rescue. My neighbor's propane tank lodged underneath my, my broken garage door and was spewing propane in, and he thought we were going to blow up. So that's when we swam through the house, out the kitchen window, onto the canoe um, that miraculously was just hanging out there waiting for us. So, And the plan was to stay in the canoe until Kevin could get to them. But they soon found out other people needed to be rescued too. We happened to see somebody around that corner. Then it turned out to be one person, two people. The first rescue, Kristen Miller's husband. He swam out of his house to get help but got stuck in a preserve. Kristen and her three-year-old son, Bryce, clung to a tree for hours before Ott's arrival. Kevin and the kids saved them, and Kristen's neighbor, Sam. Yeah, I don't remember what they said when the boat came. I just know when I got on, I, they had Bryce. He was protected. My husband was there, and I curled into a fetal position, and I just said, okay, like, we're good. So, and then we started picking up more people. More strangers saved. Then it was time for grandma. The water level so high at her home, the pontoon boat level with the roof. I mean, we were stuck up against this building, you know, right there. I mean, that's how we unloaded to get up on top of that roof. Get on top to bang on a window to get grandma's attention. A year later, the handprints remain. And that's where you see all those handprints where he was beating it, beating it, beating it, trying to get it. You know, somebody to hear it. Even with the water pressure, Ott's kids eventually pushed the door open. A canoe came out and went right onto the pontoon boat that Kevin had gotten. So, yes, I mean, I don't know if we would have made it. Twelve people, two cats, and a dog all saved, given a second chance on life, celebrating Thanksgiving and Christmas together as a family. We all had so much to be thankful for. For the last year, the kids and Kevin have helped Grandma rebuild her home nearly complete. Down the street, it's a different story for Ott and the kids. It's, it's been difficult, really difficult. Living out of a trailer while they wait for a new home. It's a big home. It's a double wide. It's monstrous. But to get it, that's our next step. And then once she gets her house done here, and we'll have Thanksgiving here, and we'll have Christmas here, and keep going. Keep going and help others. The mantra Ott lives by and a lesson passed to his kids. You know, when you need to step up and do something for somebody when it comes to family, step up and do it. And if it's not family, you still step up and try doing something for somebody. Man, such an incredible family. And I am so lucky, lucky to have met them and be able to tell their story. They're doing great from what I understand. And like I said, Kevin, the kids are waiting on the trailer. He's got a, a few kids there. Um, grandma's home almost done. Kristen, they are still waiting to fix up their home. And then Sam, he's back at his home, but still dealing with some issues there. But just a quick little update from them. Yeah, the, the handprint always stands out from that story, you know, where you can still see it from where they were banging. Yeah, the, the, and if you're curious, the, the, yeah, they're going to replace that window. And I asked them, is it kind of like sad to see it go? And Kevin said it's going to be kind of like a closing chapter once yeah. they get rid of those handprints. Yeah, maybe yeah. they hang on to it. Who knows? Yeah, Keep it for we'll see. <laughs>